is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, I posted a chart that Mike from Toronto sent out. It's from someone that has a Twitter account or something, and he was showing this uh, diamond triangle that we have going on here. Uh, and basically what this is, folks, it's a, I'll just walk through the pattern with you. It's a one, two, three, four, five expanding triangle. Gartley called it a T6. It also is called a three drive to a top. Drive one, drive two, drive three. It's also called a head and shoulder. So you'll notice that the right shoulder is lower than the left shoulder, and they're both ratios in the Fibonacci sequence. This one happens to be a 1.27 expansion. This one's a 78% retracement, and what they're assuming now is the market's going to come up, have a little bit of a rally in here, and then break below. So what you want to be watching is this line right here. Because if that line lines up like that, that'll be a downtrending line. And if you break below that downtrending line, that is that is really, really bearish. And should you gap below it, and I'll be following this pattern. I'll draw my own diamonds in, of course. But uh, I'll be following that because if it does gap down, then you know that you're going to be going a, a whole lot lower in this. And that's, uh, that's an important concept uh, uh, to remind ourselves. Now, someone uh, in the den is asked if I would be so kind as to show the AI program today for the uh, E-mini S&P, and I will get it up here right now. I think I can get this without too much trouble, because trouble is my middle name. Hold on just a second here. That's not what I wanted. Let's go right here. Don't do that to me. Here we go. This should be fine. Yep, it is going to be okay. And as you can see here, uh, we've been going down. We're supposed to have a little bit of a rally here, and we didn't. But the overall, the, uh, the overall pattern today is supposed to be down. Now, all I was doing today was watching the 382 retracements on this, folks. I mean, this was still earlier in the day. You had your first 382 retracement here. You had your second one here, and you had your third one here. And they all worked. So pay attention when you have those strong trending markets and they rally back to the 382. It's very important. Tom Hugard looks at those like uh, Sherlock Holmes in his little hourglass. You know, so it's uh, it's important to if you're especially if you're trading, you know, intraday, watch those retracements. We saw them uh, in gold. We saw them in uh, just about everything. Uh, I'll bring up the gold one just because it was. Uh, it was easy, uh, pretty much easy to see, and it's been going down ever since. I'll bring it up, uh, and I'll also bring the one up in the silver because that was another one that was that was really I haven't checked silver lately because it hasn't. I don't know if it's gone up or down, so I'll have to figure it out. But you can see there was your 382 retracement, and also you had another 382 retracement right here. So they act up pretty nicely when you see them coming together like that, and we'll get the uh, silver uh, you'll be able to see, well, this doesn't give it uh, the the, uh, the the 382s on the downside, but this one does. This is one we were looking at yesterday when we had Mike Moore on the line of Moore Analytics, and that was we were looking at this 382 here in the crude oil, and as you can see, <clears throat> the crude oil, there's your first 382 retracement, there's your second one, and there's your third one right there, three in a row. This one here goes a little bit higher. It goes up to the 61% retracement and then makes the ABCD pattern, as you can see, then rallies to the 382 of this last high, and we're going lower still. So that's what you want to be watching. And when you see these real strong trending markets, it'll give you a big edge, sometimes a better edge than you might uh, – you might like to, to pay attention to. So let's remind ourselves uh, of that. Now, I wanted to do one other thing to show you the importance of the 382 here uh, in the silver. And uh, we had a 40 cent rally off the bottom uh, today, the two, uh, 2391 
was the actual low. I haven't checked to see, uh oh, did I lose data? Shut the front door and raise the rent. Now, silver, the low's still been 2391. We're trading at uh, 2416. So it's uh, holding up uh, relatively well. And uh, but it's got a really good chance to uh, move higher, which it, it's been as high as uh, 45 and it's still trading above the 382 is what you'd like to see if it's going to continue to that. The one that was the big uh, that was the really interesting one, of course, was the uh, the euro, because uh, we thought the euro was going to rally a little bit more. And uh, what happened was after the ABCD pattern completed, and that was a there was nothing wrong with this trade, folks. We had a beautiful ABCD pattern down in here. This is where we covered our short, and our short was way back at 110. So that was about a $1,700 win, and then we gave uh, 30 pips back or $300 by buying this, rallied it a little bit right to the 382, and then when that report came out. Boom, it just uh, literally melted away. So we netted $1,400 uh, on the trade over the four-day period. But this was one of the trades that we were suggesting people look at when uh, we were over in uh, Las Vegas there uh, on the 23rd, uh, 24th, 25th, and 26th because uh, you know we were watching ABCDs and Fibonacci's, what I was talking about. And as you can see here, you'll be able to see there was the 61% retracement on the euro US dollar right there, 110 and change. And uh, we covered it at uh, well, it's, it's quite a bit lower, about a hundred and a little about seventeen hundred dollars. And then we gave about three hundred dollars back, netting about fourteen hundred. And now it's broken below the three eight two of this level, telling us that we are uh, gonna be going lower, i.e. the US dollar it looks like it's going to continue uh, moving uh, to the upside. I want to spend just a moment here with the, our good friends from Hong Kong, folks. We have uh, so many friends over there. They were asking me, and I sent this chart out to them last night to show them that uh, you know we had held up really well here at the 50% level, but the last rally, we could only make it to the 3A2, and you notice now, and today we're down sharply, more than 1%. That means this is rolling over, and that means uh, more more weakness coming. Maybe that's what our market is sensing also, but uh, that's what that's what's happening here uh, with this. But remember, on the on the weekly chart, this was a monster A, B, C, D down here at uh, 14,000 and change, and boom, you know, we had a huge rally up. Uh, this happened to be a 50% rally off of the high way back here, and then a little pull back here at the 50%, the 382, and now the negativity is still starting to move uh, in that direction. I, do, I don't trade trade the, uh, the Hang Seng at all. Uh, the only thing that I ever did was in 2016, I predicted a, a big uh, bull market in uh, Hong Kong stocks, and it, uh, it worked. And I was interviewed by Bloomberg and the uh, uh, Asian Wall Street Journal, and I got a little bit of a pat on the back for that. And that's all I got was a pat on the back. It's like the restaurant business. You're only as good as your last meal, folks. So make sure it's a good one because people – just don't remember. And you know why? They don't do the work. That's the real key. When you get back, we're going to be talking about some bank stocks, folks. 877-927-6648. Billy Ray Valentine, Capricorn. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously 
When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I posted the chart of J.P. Morgan uh, going back over past year. You can see here that we had this beautiful three drive to a bottom right here. There's drive one, there's drive two, there's drive three, there's your A, B, C, D pattern, and away the market went. And, of course, with the banking collapse that we've seen, this has been far, far and away the strongest of any bank that we look at in this uh, group of uh, bank stocks. I mean, it's... Uh, it's just truly amazing. Let me show you something. This next one was interesting because I had it on my, uh, I, I don't trade stocks, but I when someone asked me, I keep an eye on it. But take a look at this chart here, uh, Jamie Dimon going, <laughs> JP Morgan going back uh, the last few years. Look at back here. You remember in uh, 2016, I believe is when it was, he bought a million shares of J.P. Morgan at $59 a share. That's what he paid for it. And you can see, you know, where that thing went to. And I'm sure he still owns the 50, uh, you know, the million shares because, you know, now it's a lot of money involved. So, but anyway, he put he put his uh, money where his mouth was back in that day. And it's been a best run bank of any of them. Not all of them look this way. And this is what I want to show you because uh, it's really it's really quite amazing. There's a group of them here. So here's one. Well, let me do these two stocks first because this is why the market has been so strong. Microsoft and Apple. I hope I had the Apple stocks. I'm sure I do. But there's Microsoft. You can see uh, had the big ABCD up here. Hasn't backed off at all. A uh, point or two. Really very, very little. And then the next one that we want to look at, I hope, will be Apple. Nope, now we'll get into the banking stock. So the first one is one of the best-run banks, and it's not acting very well at all, folks. This is the Mellon Bank of Pittsburgh, started by Andrew Mellon, one of the very dearest and closest friends of James Pierport Morgan. 
And you can see this is still going down, folks. The last three days, still dropping. This is not a good sign if you're in the banking industry, okay? That's Mellon Bank. The next one we're going to take a look at here is another one. This is the largest bank in the country, Bank of America, formerly the Bank of Italy. And uh, don't blame it on the Italians. They haven't been involved there for years. There was your 382 retracement, folks, a couple weeks ago. There was your first one right here. There was your second one. And this look how close we are to the new lows, folks. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be a problem, but these markets uh, in some of these banks do not make you think that things are looking good. Now, here is Goldman Sachs, which is an investment bank. Most of you uh, don't deal with them, but there are some of you, of course, that do. And as you look at this, you can see that it is looks better than some, but uh, it's still in a long downtrend the last six or seven months the last rally was right at the 61 we had this little tiny 382 rally here three days ago and now these markets are starting to go down uh, Jamie Dimon said that he didn't believe that that was the end of the of the banking crisis and then they asked him what would he do with his money and he said I would give it to a central bank in other words put it in t-bills for me put my name on it uh, so that's what he said. Now, you have to go what he may may not mean it, but that's what he's looking at. Here's another really well-run bank that's not acting very well. I happen to know uh, Jim Gorman, the chairman of the board there, and he's a very sharp guy, same class as Mr. Mr. Diamond. He doesn't make $32 million a year like Mr. Uh, Diamond does, but he does well. But again, look at this. This stock is still heading lower. We're making newer lows after the banking crisis, folks. So maybe things are not uh, doing as well over there at Morgan Stanley as you might think. And that's an investment bank, folks. That's not where you're going to give a deposit. Okay? That's a that's the one that you got to really pay attention to. Okay, we've got a couple others to go through that look very, very similar as far as the uh, – they don't look that good. That's pretty much it. Here happens to be Citibank, famous for its, uh, I think, a 20 to 1 reverse split many years ago because uh, it was so low that they couldn't, in, uh, people couldn't invest in it. So the only way they could get it is to get the price of the stock up is to do a reverse split. And uh, the stock has been going down ever since. I mean, this is uh, not a been good, a good investment for people over the past 15 or 20 years. This is not a bank that we would put in the well-run category for sure. And that's the Citibank, and we have two more to cover. And the next one is the regional banks. This is the one. We, in fact, it's one I've got. It's just we're going to do a, a, a broader, bigger version of this. This is a, a Jim Bartolioni came on. But you can see here uh, this was supposed to be an island reversal. Well, the island sinking yesterday and today. Uh, they're pushing it down. But the real key to this is when we had Mr. Bartoleone, who will be on next week on Wednesday. He'll be our guest. I will show you the, this was the pattern that he brought to our attention uh, just about uh, three weeks or so ago. There's where we were. That was a beautiful, beautiful uh, ABC. This is a weekly chart, folks. It was a couple months ago, not a few days ago. But anyway, look at this. Perfect A, B, C, D coming in at what? Johnny, raise your hand and put your card down. Yes, we see it's 0 0.382 again. And now you can see this does not look bullish, folks. This does not look bullish. So I don't believe the banking thing is over. And uh, that's just me, but I'm a skeptical Chester when it comes to that stuff because I know the things that they tell you aren't exactly what you think that they might be. So that's uh, the real key. So we've got the S&P down here at uh, 41.14. We were as high as 41.64 last night at 40 handles. So it's uh, held relatively well. And uh, we still got, uh, well, the NASDAQ is near the low. The euro is on the low. And uh, even the wheat now has given up uh, 20 cents from that 61% retracement that we hit uh, here earlier today. So a lot of things happening. And when we get back, we're going to cover a couple of different stocks that are in the news and that I would like to uh, give you my two cents worth. And like I say, if you pay more than two cents, it's your own fault.
So you have to do the work yourself. That's the key to doing this. It's all about, you know, you could get recommendations from people and stuff like that, but that's no good. And the reason why is what happens if that guy gives you 10 in a row and he doesn't show up the 11th time? That's right out of the the book of uh, 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 Reminiscences of a Stock Operator by Edwin Lefevre. Same thing. Think of that guy yesterday for the for the uh, Celtics. Uh, <laughs> The guy loses 14 shots in a row, and then he wins the game. Hello, operator. My goodness. We've got Jim from uh, Palm Harbor will be on when we break comes up. So, Jim, keep your powder dry, my friend. And when we get back, we'll be talking about the E-mini S&P. And I'll put a chart up, and we'll take a look at it and see how it's doing. And we'll uh, get back with the break, and then we'll be able to talk about that. So stay with us. 877 877- Nine two seven six six four eight. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We're back, folks, and we have Jim from Palm Harbor, Florida, on the line. Jim, what can I do for you? Well, Larry, nobody wants to talk about stocks, so I got a great poker story to talk. Good. Talk oh, to you about. now you've got my attention. <laughs> 
Uh, but that that Astapro works for your uh, sniffles, huh? Yes, yeah, so far, yeah, it's been very helpful. Thank you very much. I give it a little squirt, and uh, it's amazing. I, what I did was I tested it the first day. I, I walked right underneath the the, uh, the Palo Verde because it's where we go to get our mail, and I. It's a giant tree, and it didn't phase me a bit. So I knew that it, it was working. So. Uh, I tried it again this morning, and it's worked pretty good. So I'm very happy so far. Uh, the check That's is in great. the mail, so you know how bad the deliveries can be. So anyway, yeah. what's the poker story? Yeah. And here's the great poker story. Uh, and it's amazing the different it, the, the correlation between poker and, and actually trading in the stock market. You know, limited risk. You've got to make decisions every single hand. Uh, but this is the best I've done in a couple of years. It was a hundred thirty dollar entry, twenty thousand dollar guaranteed prize pool. Um, I didn't like the six p.m. start with twenty minute blinds because I knew it was going to go, you know, two o'clock in the morning. Sure. But um, I made it to the final table, um, pulled it, and you'll like this one: eight and nine of spades. Call the bet. My the flop is a, a monster. It's a monster flop. Ace of spades, six and deuce of spades. So I know someone that's in the pot with me has got an ace. He goes all in, and I double up from four hundred thousand to eight hundred thousand chips because my, you know, my flush held up. Flush beats his so, ace, yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, so I knew he had an he, he had a pair of aces, and my flush held up. My spade flush held up. Made it to second. We chopped the guy when there were four players that they did not want to chop. Uh, the la- I made it to second place. I walked away with uh, thirty-eight fifty plus a five hundred dollar ticket for a a big tournament this weekend. A hundred thousand. Oh, that's guarantee. good. That's good. Yeah, that's really good. That, that that's always so, good to hear. I, I'm I'm um, I missed this move today, and I'm just trying to figure out how you handle missing this big move. Well, not a huge move, but from forty-one sixty down to. 41, you know, 50 point swing today in the E-mini, and I missed that. Well, um, I was in the NASDAQ. How do you NASDAQ. handle that? You just say, okay, I, I, it's the end no, of the I, day. I, I was doing uh, the know NASDAQ. You the volatility just... I mean, the stochastics are oversold right now in the E-mini for this afternoon, yeah, well, so we're due for a bounce. Stochastics like drawing to an inside straight, that doesn't work very much. No, what I did, I was in the NASDAQ because it was so clear. And, uh, okay. you know, the others were a little weaker. But I, if this is correct and this high that we made here in the NASDAQ is a 61, all you got to do now is watch for the first ABCD or 382 pullback that will come probably Sunday or Monday, Tuesday. I don't know when it will come. But when it does come, get ready for it because, you know, you get the videos. I'll be, I'll be alerting you to, hey, this is where we want to – this is where the pattern comes in. You know, just like in, in poker, it's, it's power – position and probability and if you remember those three things where you are how many people have to act in front of you and that's why it's a game of science it's not like a roulette wheel where you're waiting for 11 or 8 or 16 to pop up you know you got some odds in your favor and you can at any time you can quit you know you can't well, stop you the know, wheel once that one, starts one more p on there and it's patience and and oh, most yeah, people don't why. have the patience <laughs> to sit there for 20 yeah, 25 yeah. minutes without playing a hand Oh Cause, yeah, cause they that's, keep, that's that's they keep that's my uh, my Achilles you know, heel. Jack three, Jack yeah. seven, ten deuce, or eight yeah. threes yeah. are the ones that kill me when I should be having playing, uh, you know, blackjack <laughs> on the side. But it, it's patience which is um, so important. It's like in trading, you want to set up your set up your patterns. But, you know, only look for three or four good ones a day. That's all you really have to look at. And of those three or four, you probably get filled on one or two. And of those, you're going to win on better than half. And that's what trading is all about. I, I watched that Celtic game last night, Jim, because the guy, he's so good. I mean, he's never shot, never missed ten, in, in his nine years. He's never missed 10 field goals in a row, and he missed 14. So wow. 14 field goals in a row. Of course, then he, he makes his last five out of six, which wins the game. But I was thinking I've got to relate that to the folks here because that'll happen. You know, you. I, I watched Tom Hugard lose 13, 14 times in a row. On the 15th time, he made it all back times five or six. That's, you know, because when he hits it, he hits it, you know, he's a home run hitter. But he doesn't even phase him to be wrong eight, nine times in a row because he knows that that next trade is coming soon and he just waits for it and then he hops on board and that's what it's all about. Um, 
that that E mini chart that you had, if you put that back up there, where would you look for your three A two? Would you look for that three A two from this morning that was um, yes, no, you have sixty four. Yes, you go from forty one sixty four down to the low we had at forty one fourteen, and then okay. that's what I I don't know what the low was was forty one fourteen a little it while like ago. Forty one ten forty one ten point seven five was the last. Low right okay. Well, first of all, it's uh, well, only an hour, hour and a half to go. I wouldn't do a three eight two here on a uh, on a Friday unless it was an A B C D three eight two. Then I would assume that it's not going to open higher on Sunday. But other than that, most of the damage has already been done, and so I would wait and see, you know, what's going to happen on Sunday night to to line it up because that's what I do with the videos as I. I say, hey, let's. This is this is where we're supposed to look, and that's what I try to find. And you know, you're going to be right sometimes. Sometimes you're going to be wrong. But that's just like in poker. You could have a pair of aces, and they're only going to win 60% of the time. But when they do, they win big. So, what you got to wait for is the ones that line up really clearly. Just like in, you know, you're, if you got a king queen suited, and you're short stack. That's a good hand. If you're you got a big stack, you can do a lot of things with it. Pocket eights. That's the hand that I like the best, believe it or not. I win more money on pocket eights than I do with aces, kings, or queens, or jacks. I just happen to be lucky with pocket eights. So, And, and, and pocket nines and pocket tens are, are my my card because you know people don't see it coming. You flop that set of nines, uh, yeah. it, it, it's, just, yeah. it's just like a killer out there. Especially when you're sold playing it. Yeah. Um, the okay. problem is, and, and this that was my. I know there's going to be a bounce this afternoon because people want to book those profits. So I grew sure, it's kind of hard to, to enter a short right here. Well, I wouldn't certainly do that either. But you know, like you say, if you're waiting for, uh, you know, uh, to hit three nines, you know, your odds of getting it you said is only seven to one. So you're going to be wrong a lot, and you can't put a lot of money into it. So if someone gives you a big raise. Pocket nines is not going to be a good hand unless you're, you know, you're almost out of chips. Then you have to do it. But, you know, it's, uh, you got to do is you got to stick with those kings, queens, and kings and ace king. Those are your best way. You know what you're doing. Hey, to finish second, you know what you're doing. That means you can play with those guys. So have some fun. You know, yep. yeah, I've been yep. doing it. You know, I, I don't make a lot of money, but I have fun and I make a couple of bucks. If people say, how can you sit there for five, six, seven hours? But it's, it's amazing how you What the hell am I doing here? I'm doing, this, I'm, I'm doing the same thing here, only it's 12 hours. <laughs> <laughs> and then it starts It starts at uh, 6 o'clock and, and runs the clock over again. Sure. So I'm looking here, at least what I calculated was a 382 off this bounce would be 4132. Okay, there you go. So we'll, you got yeah. a good place to look. We'll, we'll look at it, and you, you can call in on Monday and see if it worked. How's that? Sounds good. You have a great weekend. You, Thanks thank for you. you do. Thank, yeah, well, thank you. Appreciate you calling in. And now I know how you play. So if I play against you, be careful. 877 927 6648. We'll be right back, folks. We got some more things to take a look at, including Apple, Mr. Appel, who's down by the well. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. 
Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, I've put a chart up here of Apple. It's a daily chart. And I've just drawn in the patterns, as you can see, A, B, C, D, all the way up. This was a chart because when I was in Vegas uh, on the 26th, and that was right here. And this was basically, I was showing them that was a completed A, B, C, D pattern here, another A, B, C, D pattern here. Here was a pullback. We should get up into this area right here. And I said I would be a seller here at 171. 20 and I would say I'd put a stop at 175.20 risking four points I took that as you take $175 uh, multiply it by two and a half percent so your risk is going to be about five dollars and so you're risking five dollars and I said you should make at least ten dollars on this and it's finally in a profitable position and believe me people have been asking me all along here of course we had the big gap up here on the day when their earnings came out and we didn't get stopped out but now we're back into a profitable now what I made them do was I made them count the bars up in the move to show you the similarity in other words this was eight bars up seven bars up six bars up five yards up five <laughs> bars up and the last one today six bars up and didn't do any of the ratios all I did was I had them just see that how the market goes up we have higher bottoms that means you're in an uptrend. You have higher tops. That means you're in an uptrend. So that day right here, when it was trading at 163, I said this was right in the morning. You can see it just gapped up. I said you buy it because it's going to go up to this level right here. So we had a profitable trade that day uh, for them on the 26th. We had a couple of other small trades. But the good part of it was there were some people in the room that uh, were invited as guests by, by the Money Show folks. They liked what they saw, and they made me an offer that I just can't refuse, and that is we're going to do a seminar. Uh, don't know where, but I've agreed to do it, and it's a $100,000 winner take all. So I am going to be involved in that one. And they said, do you really think this stuff works? And I said, well, I think so, but... I want at least a three-day trading thing. We can do three days. so, And that's what's going to happen. So we're going to have some fun. I don't know where it's going to be, how much it's going to cost yet, but I agreed that I would do it. 
it'll be three days and it'll be you know eight to ten hours well at least ten hours a day and I'll probably I don't know who I'm going to be against but uh, we'll see uh, see what happens so it's going to be very very interesting all I got to do now is find the other uh, 90, dollars. I still got ten in my pocket left from the hundred dollars I lost at the world at the uh, Kentucky Derby, but I still think uh, will will be okay. Now the the hundred thousand when I take winner take all, it's the profits. In other words, if I make more profits than the other guy, I get to take his profits. If he takes more than mine then he gets to take my profits that's what that means it doesn't mean you're going to bet 100 grand i'm not that i mean not uh, first of all i i am not going to take that kind of risk but i would take the challenge of trading i mean i did this with john hill and larry williams many times over the years at the money shows and it was always a lot of fun sometimes we'd win sometimes he'd win we always made money but sometimes he would make oh god sometimes he would make huge amounts of money because he trades monster size, and that's a big difference. You know, you put on ten bonds, you make a lot more than if you put on one bond. So that's uh, the, one of the other ones. The other, uh, the other uh, stock that we were uh, watching during that time of those of that was the uh, Microsoft. And I want to bring this up here to show you. We have the same thing going on here uh, with Softy, and uh, my gosh, it's back into profitable mode too. Here's the. There's the, uh, the – well, let's get it up here so you folks can see it. And this mainly – they were all talking about the uh, the AI stuff that Microsoft has, that uh, uh, artificial intelligence. But I, there was the ABCD measuring where? 112. And there – the high was, uh, was 113 and a half. And right now we're trading at uh, 114 and a half. It's trading. It was. <laughs> it's trading 312. Now it's trading at 306. The ABCD measures to 312. We got the 306. And all I did was on these smaller ones to try to show them the ABCDs. And you know that's really all you can do when you're doing something on a really uh, quick uh, timetable to look at. I've got one other one here that has been in the news uh, a lot, lit a lot, and it's been a. A very, very, very exciting stock on the upside, and has had virtually. Oh dear, I've got to change. Hold on a second. I want to get this down and put my defaults in so I can see the patterns uh, as easy as possible. There we go. And this stock has just been flat out running like a striped deer through a forest, being chased by a hunter. Look at this, folks. This is the Nvidia. I don't know what NVIDIA does, but it must be related to computers because you can see here there's a lot of little ABCDs in here, but look where this thing has gone from. I mean, wow. You have the nice little pullback here at the 61% retracement, and then it's just constantly going up and up. No, There's no big pattern here, no ABCD anywhere. Well, there's a little ABCD right here. There's one right there. That's the only one that I can see during this whole time. And now it's up into a zone where it is logically should be looking for a top, but that doesn't mean that you're going to get it. Let's just look at it quickly for a second here. Go down to a four-hour, and maybe we can find something. And guess what we just did? We just found one. We got a really nice three-drive up here. So we'll just draw this in, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Oh, it's not very symmetrical. That's a, Oh, I did the wrong one. Hold on. It is symmetrical. There's A, B. Ah. Shut the front door and raise the rent. I hope you enjoyed the poker story because I certainly did. Anyway, here is what it looks like on the board here. But it's coming into really strong support. So, boy, this is uh, you got to be really careful with this stock. This thing is this is strong. You know, you should always go for the weakest. Remember the... the the jackals they go for what they go for the weakest things in the in the jungle or in the on the prairie so that's what you want to do here this is really bullish folks you've got this big pattern up here but makes a nice pullback you got a perfect one three five bada bing bada boom right on the money so that's not the one you want to be selling you want to be selling the one that more like apple where you see a three drive to a top pattern or like in Microsoft, but not this one. This one is a, a very, very powerful one. So let's uh, 
let's keep our eyes open as we're doing that. And we've got, uh, how are we doing with the break? Oh, I wanted to do one other one here, and I think I got it right here. Um, shut the front door. I Nope, I missed that one up. I got one other stock that I wanted to get with you. That's not a stock. It's a commodity, and it's under pressure right now, and it is Dr. Copper. Let's get this up here. We'll see where we are on some of these things, and you'll get a pretty good idea of what we're looking at here with Dr. Copper because this is telling you with the stock market weakening, it's actually holding up incredibly well right now. Let's just see why that is. We'll just draw the line in, and when we get back, we will talk about Dr. Copper. 877-927-6648. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. Okay, folks, I posted a chart of uh, July Copper. As you can see here, we've been in a downtrend here for several months. Uh, you can see the lower tops. Right in there, the 135 pattern, and we had the break rally up to the 382, but we're coming in. You can see here within about four or five cents, around 365, we are looking at a potential really good 61% retracement, and that's a perfect Gartley. A, B, 
B, C, D. And if you did the count between your A and your B and your C and your D, you're going to see this is what I'll be doing this weekend. I'll be uh, doing it a little bit differently. And we'll see why is that going to be happening. I don't know what that is. So don't know what that is. I'm not going to I'm not going to answer it because I don't know what it is. Got to turn it off. Anyway, that's what we'll be watching here. And you'll be able to see it coming down in this area uh, right here. So it'll make it really interesting if we can get to that area and then hold that area 365. Now, we had some strong uh, support here in silver, also support here in gold today. And if that stuff gives up on Monday or Sunday and we get below 2390 in silver, we're going to go a whole lot lower. Same thing in the gold. If we go below uh, 1999 in the uh, spot gold, uh, which happens to be the June, it means we're probably going to go a lot lower in uh, that one also. So th these markets, I mean, they, they can move very dramatically at any one time. And that's why you've got to be able to use a stop when you're in there. Because if you don't use a stop, you're telling Mother Market that, hey, I know more than you do. And she doesn't like to hear that kind of stuff because she knows better. It's all about risk control, folks. Focus on how much you're going to risk, not how much you're going to make. That's the bottom line. 877-927-6648. Billy Ray Valentine, Capricorn. We'll be back. Tomorrow.